Kansas City Sports Update Studios. Welcome to Kingdom Radio, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. Brought to you by Arrowhead Update. Join Chris and Richard on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Spreaker, Player FM, CastBox, and all third-party applications. Check us out on Facebook platforms such as Kansas City Sports Update and Arrowhead Update. And if you cannot find us there, Google or search Kingdom Radio and Kansas City Chiefs and you will find us. Welcome to the kingdom. 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 How are we doing, Kansas City? It is Sunday, July 28th, and we are on day four of training camp here in St. Joseph, Missouri. And... There's a lot to talk about here in Chiefs Kingdom. There's a lot of good news. And obviously the huge news coming out of Kansas City is Chris Jones being present in training camp. And also Chris Jones has cut his body fat level down uh, about 3% because he wants to be capable of um, playing any position that they feel necessary on the defense. And I think that's an extremely important scenario um, for him you know, to trim down a little bit because the defensive scheme that we've changed into adds a lot more speed to the table and I think that is imperative for Chris Jones um, to be able to move around the field uh, better than he has which is a great scenario I mean think about that Kansas City as great as he is and now he's you know working to trim down he looks more like uh, Ogba than than he does Chris Jones but you could also physically tell that Chris Jones really has not been preparing like all the other players um, throughout this offseason he's moved around a little slower and he obviously was winded way uh, faster than a lot of players here at Chiefs training camp. Um, and with that being said, look, uh, Tyreek Hill and Chris Jones both got a great ovation out here in training camp, which is well deserved. I know we're happy to have them back on the team, and they are, um, you know, two anchors. You know, one on offense and one on defense. It, they are very important players to our scheme, and we could not happy could not be more happy to have both of those players back on the team. Um, and, and you know, with that being said, it's. Um, one of those scenarios where, look, our our team is is whole again. We have some pieces that we have brought in, and we have our return players, and it could not look more promising for Chris Jones, Tyreek Hill, and the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, and here is another the, another great story coming out of training camp: the Tyreek Hill Patrick Mahomes. Um, combination is better than it has ever been ever better than it's ever been and we could not be more happy they connected on several big plays in training camp thus far um, and also had a huge beautiful uh, deep ball that Tyree Kill um, ran underneath so it's really nice to to see this production out of Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill this early obviously they've had an off season to to really work on that timing and it's got to be tough you know throwing to a guy like uh, Tyree Kill with all that speed but if anybody can do it and put it you know in the air for him to get it it's Patrick Mahomes um, Sammy Watkins is looking extremely strong and seems to be living up to his words of coming out uh, ready uh, to have his best year of of his career and um he also has predicted that he is going to have 12 touchdown uh receptions this year which would really you know add um a huge diverse piece to our puzzle Uh, i think that he's capable of way more than what he's produced in kansas city and he's worked his tail off to get where he's at and and really have a productive season so i look forward to that um with sammy Watkins, mccall hartman Cole Hardman struggled handling the ball at special teams. Um, he's ma- made some splashes. He looked good. But the speed is, is there, Kansas City. Look, the speed is exactly where he wanted. This man is on another level when it comes to speed. And I, I really look forward to, to seeing him and Tyreek and the whole crew out on the field together to see what he can bring to the table. Um, Byron Pringle had a, a few good catches, and you know, it's another one who's kind of really just made a splash so far. I haven't really seen a whole lot out of Pringle. Um, another kind of weird thing that I noticed, no, excuse that, my pen fell. Another weird thing that I've noticed is that uh, Charvarius Ward is starting over Kendall Fuller. I'm not quite sure if that is due to production or, or what's going on with that. But Charveris Ward had a lot of struggles um, over the top here so far in training camp and covering underneath routes. So I, I'm not really 
I'm not really sure what's going on there, and that kind of worries me on that side of the ball. But with our safety group that we have, um, we should be all right. And it's nice to see the interviews from the players, such as the Honey Badger, who is extremely excited about Tyreek Hill coming back as well and really um, ready to get this show rolling. And excuse me, I just wanted to let everybody know this is an on-location recording. Um, if you hear the background noise, I'm sorry, but hey, we... Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here in Kansas City, or well, St. Joe, and um, sometimes you just got to record where you can. Um, other news, uh, Brashad Braylon left practice with uh, some form of laceration. I'm not sure where it was, but um, I don't know if he needed stitches or, or what the deal was, but he did leave early from training camp. Um I look for this next week to be exciting. Uh, you know, the it was open to the public yesterday for the first time, which would be Saturday. Um, today, practice is, is rolling as we speak. And it's it's going to be fun, Kansas City. If you haven't got out there to training camp, I know it's only day two, but get out there and see them because we our team is better than ever. We are looking ridiculously sharp, and I just I do not see another NFL team being able to keep up with the Kansas City Chiefs. The defense is looking great. They, everything is looking great and on key. Um, I, I'm I, The only thing I'm, I'm kind of worried about is that defensive back situation with Kendall Fuller, but obviously that will be figured out here soon. Um, Chris Jones getting his conditioning back. That's a huge key for the Chiefs because it was extremely visibly noticeable that he had, I don't want to say lost a step, but everybody else has a step on him. Um, he was the only one, you know, bending over, um, exhausted. You could just see it, Kansas City. You could see how exhausted this man was. And we really need to get his conditioning back up because he is the anchor of the defense. But that's not anything. Um, let's be honest. Out of all the aspects and scenarios when it comes to injuries or training camp or, or you know, just a, a player in general, the con unless he has a problem and mentally with the approach of conditioning, which Chris Jones obviously does not, um, I don't think it's going to take him too long to get back up to speed where everyone else is. And you expect that from a player who's been holding out. Um, yes, the man deserves his money. Um, he had one breakout year. And look, here's the thing with the Kansas City Chiefs. I believe they're $21 million apart in negotiations. Um, but I look at the Chiefs' aspect, and I see where they're coming from. We want another productive season out of you. Um, I feel like we can pay him next year, um, next season. It, this is one of those things that it's a pivotal year for Chris Jones, and I felt like he was trying to you know, get his money before he had to come back and prove himself with another career year. Do I think he will do it? Yes, I absolutely do. But, hey... I want to see it. I want to see it, Chris Jones. You'll get your money. We're happy to have you there. And it was nice to see the ovation that the uh, Chiefs Kingdom um, gave all of these players, actually. But, hey, it's nice to have Chris Jones back on, on the field. He's a personality. He's a leader. And he is a, he's got a motor that never quits. So... Andy Reid had discussed the wide receiver group, and um, I will say that he was extremely pleased. He looked like a kid in a candy store, to be 100% frank. I've never seen Andy Reid that happy. And don't get me wrong, Andy Reid is an even keel type of guy, but you can just see the shine on his face and the glow. It's, there's something different in Kansas City, and everybody knows it. Um, Frank Clark got a, a great ovation as well and met up with Brett Veach uh, in the middle of the field as they had a short conversation. And I feel like Brett Veach is extremely excited to have Frank Clark on this team. You know, he obviously had a lot to do with um, everything that is the Kansas City Chiefs here in the last three years, and he is putting some formidable pieces on, on the table and into this puzzle, and it's working out quite well. Um, Patrick Mahomes, obviously sharp as attack. Um, the... <laughs> Look, he is practicing throwing the ball left-handed. He, I watched a video on Patrick Mahomes throwing left-handed. When I say he's practicing, he is hitting targets left-handed Kansas City. He's also practicing the behind-the-back throw. 
This kid is ridiculous. It, the, the talent level is not going to stop for him. It's going to climb and climb and climb and climb and climb. He'll never hit a wall, and he'll always, always be finding new ways to get the ball downfield. And we couldn't be more happy for that in Chiefs Kingdom. So with that being said, I wanted to touch base on our training camp thus far. We are here on day four, and we'll continue through the week, and I will keep you updated. I'll have more, more shows as more goes on. And I will probably record more. I would like to get some interviews in. Um, it's just got to be the right time. So, Kansas City, look, you have a wonderful Sunday. If you are not out at Chiefs training camp, get out there and support our Kansas City Chiefs. Get your autographs. It's only $5 entry fee. Um, and get out there and support them because you're going to get to see what the final product is before we even put it on the table. So, Kansas City. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry this is not too long of a a broadcast, but I will be back on soon. Have a great day, Kansas City. From the Kansas City Sports Update Studios, welcome to Kingdom Radio, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. Brought to you by Arrowhead Update. Join Chris and Richard on iHeartRadio, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Spreaker, Player FM, CastBox, and all third-party applications. Check us out on Facebook platforms such as Kansas City Sports Update and Arrowhead Update. And if you cannot find us there, Google or search Kingdom Radio and Kansas City Chiefs, and you will find us. Welcome to the Kingdom. Kingdom.